Hi, welcome to this week's episode of Artist ADD. My name is Alicia LaRue and I am an artist with a serious case of the artist ADD. I have to try just about everything. So now for this episode, I will be doing a portrait out of an interesting material. I will be using broken glass. So sit back and enjoy this episode. Okay, so to begin with, I just use a pencil and just do a quick rough outline. And then I go in with my Sharpie and I'm just adding in some of those dark details. Again, this is just very, very loose. Uh, I know that I'm going to be eventually putting glass on it, so it really doesn't have to be perfect. If I wanted to go for perfection, I could tell you it would take me a lot longer to create. Uh, so this one I didn't want to spend months on. I just wanted to uh, basically try out this new method that I am going to be trying. So there's the glass and then I've got myself my good old glue gun. So now with my glue gun, I am gluing on the pieces of broken glass onto the board. I'm trying not to use too much of the actual glue uh, because you'll see later on in this video, uh, but just going through that broken glass, watch your fingers. <laughs> uh, funny enough, creating this, I didn't cut myself once. So I don't know if that's a miracle or just who knows, but that's what happened. So now I'm just gluing on all the different colors, going in basically from light to dark, dark to light. I wanted to have a lot of uh, a nice contrast in more of those warm colors in a contrast to those cool bluesy purples. So now just Again, just gluing them on and I am focusing on not having it necessarily perfect. I kind of wanted that rough kind of Picasso type look. Um, more about kind of the melancholy type feeling with this piece. Um, and just gluing, gluing them on. So you can see here there's a lot of those little glue strings. I eventually take those little gluey stringy things off. But next, after it's all done, I'm going through to my 3D pen. So I'm just showing here the spool that I ended up buying. Um, it's a, a hard plastic. So now just going through all of the different pieces of broken glass and I'm just basically just squealing them all together. Uh, the 3D pen is definitely effective. Uh, it takes a bit of time to, uh, to figure it all out. It is. Maybe it's just my 3D pen, uh, but it's it's got it. Um, sometimes it comes out a lot, sometimes it doesn't. But regardless, you just work one piece of glass at a time. So you can see here, close up, it's just pouring right out, and it's like no, and then then it's nice, and uh, yeah, and it pours out nicely. But yeah, you see here, I've got a good start to it, and I'm just plugging away, really, just getting through each of those pieces of glass. I highly recommend a good podcast at this point because it definitely takes a bit of time. However, if you at home have done stained glass before, um, it's always a process of time. At this point, if I was doing traditional stained glass, I would be uh, putting the foil copper around it, um, but I have chosen to do the 3D pen method. <laughs> and again, this, um, yeah, so here I am. This is the interesting part that I was definitely experimenting with is I'm adding really, really hot water onto the piece. Now, in hindsight, I really should have let it soak in a little bit more. The idea behind it is that the glue will begin to melt. And so um, ultimately my hope was that this piece would just basically pop off. However, because I didn't hold it in the hot water long enough, it was a bit of a challenge to get um, the, the glass off of the board. So that was ultimately the plan was to get the, um, uh, uh, the glass and the uh, 3D pen part off. So you can see here, it's not looking so good. <laughs> um, and uh, after, you know, lots of tries, I just got that, that kitchen barbecue tool and just scraped away at it. So there's still some of the glass that is on the original board. However, there is the glass that uh, made it to the uh, negative side. Well, the positive, I like the opposite side. But, you know, out of looking at it, kind of going, oh no, 
it actually was really quite easy to put back together again because all of those pieces, you ju I just transferred it from one to the next and it was very satisfying feeling that click of when the piece just finds its place. It was uh, really satisfying, but also it was really kind of reassuring for me and I was really a lot of emotions where I'm like, yay, it's, it's all fitting together. It's actually working. So again, if you're gonna use this technique, have it go in hot water for way longer and I believe that you won't have run into this problem. However, I can't guarantee that. Uh, I will try this method again and um, see if it works any better doing it um, that way. So now that I've got it onto the other side, I'm going in with a 3D pen and I am going around each piece of glass. Uh, I'm working to um, really adhere the bottom to the top so it really allows the stained glass to um, be in there pretty solid. Again, this is not traditional stained glass. This is not as strong as a traditional stained glass. However, it is possibly um, like 50 times faster, even more than that. <laughs> Especially if you're using broken glass, you don't have to cut the glass or anything. This was just a fun experiment piece. You can see here with the good old uh, my 3D pen, just, you know, just putting it all together and each piece again separately but it really um it really was very enjoyable to create this piece uh one bit at a time slowly uh you can see it's all coming together now if you look closely at it it kind of it's like the mona lisa you know it looks beautiful from afar but you look close you're kind of like uh so and, you know it's just it's part of the 3d pen i guarantee uh I think if I do decide to invest in a better 3D pen, I would get a more cleaner, more um, steady flow. So here's the piece now um, in the window and I think it looks great. So looking closer, there's those little squigglies. However, that really kind of does add to this piece. I plan on framing it and yeah, putting it up. I love this piece. I really enjoy the way that it turned out. Uh, it had its bumpies in the creation, but all, all creating has those bumpy rides. <laughs> so definitely make sure to subscribe to this page right down below. Uh, and uh, mid-May, I'm gonna be doing a draw, as some of you might know or not know, a draw for a very cool wool sculpture. Uh, you have to subscribe to the page and then you have to write a comment to put you into that draw. So that's gonna be about mid-May. And yeah, we will see you next week.